pretty birds, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for always visiting and keeping up with us. If you are not already following us, please do so by subscribing below and giving us a thumbs up and like for all of the content that you love and follow us on all of our other social platforms. So this week I was thinking about the summer skies, about the sunsets, and I went into my closet and I looked at pieces that inspire me to think about the sky and the sunset uh, during the summer. And what I noticed was that those pieces are all the pieces that we would think about in terms of art class. So we've got the tie-dye, we've got the degradé, we have got iridescent pieces like this that changes color in the light. And I have put them all together for you. I have about four looks. These are my favorite looks and they're pieces that I wear often, but they truly resemble the summer sky. So let's get started. This outfit is by Remain Bergeson and I love it because it's an easy casual look. Um, you know, it's a little utilitarian kind of top with a lot of pockets. Um, it's very smooth and I can't tell if you guys can see how the light bounces off the piece, but it does and it just, it reminds me of the sky after uh, a rainstorm, basically. You know, when the clouds are subsiding, there's still a little bit of humidity in the air and this would definitely be a sky that we try to capture in art class. So this is the dress by Abitu that I showed you in my sip and rip. Look at it, it's super cute. I love this dress because of the very, very exaggerated puffy sleeves. I think that they bring the drama for the season. I love that it's a brocade and I love that it captures the sky, the colors of the sky at sunset because you have the colors that are like the sky blue, but then you also have the pink, that pink that comes on at sunset and then just how they mix together. And you know, if you have some clouds, you have the silver lining of the clouds. And I just think it's such a pretty fun dress and it's a really great cocktail dress. Um, and the, the thing about this dress is that you can wear it with flats, you can wear it with heels, you can wear it with sneakers. It doesn't matter, whatever style profile is yours, this dress works so well. So I love it, it really uh, reminds me of the you know early evening sky. So this is the next look. If you guys have been following me on social for a while on Instagram, you'll know that this is one of my favorite tops. I got it at an outlet a couple seasons after it came out. It's by Celine when Phoebe Philo was still at the helm of the house. And I just love it and it's tie-dye it makes me really happy. The palette is super pretty um, and it's a favorite of mine. So when I think about the sunset in the summer, I think about these colors like as you go from orange to pink and then you finally hit that deeper blue. This is what I think about the yellow at the golden hour and this is totally an art class kind of thing. Um, this could be either tie dyeing or it actually could be um, the splattering and then mixing of paint. So this is art school style and um, you know this is just a regular button down but I decided to style it by buttoning the button asymmetrically today and this is just how you can update your looks and this is a part of my summer sunsets baby. So the next piece I want to show you is by Olivia Rubin. It's a slip dress with a cowl neck. Olivia Rubin is all about color. She makes the happiest clothes ever and I love to support her because she supports women. So this is another dress that reminds me of the sunset, the summer sky. You have like a degradé of all the colors, you know, you go from the yellow to that turquoise in the, in the center, in the core, and then you have the lavender and that pale pink and you repeat the colors and it's just like an ex 
extended sunset and you know it is the kind of thing that you would have painted in your watercolors class at art school in art class so that's what I was going for um, and I love that nature can be such a huge inspiration for us when we are creating style when designers are choosing their palettes and here is two sunsets this is my final look. Uh, it's by The Attico. If you follow me, you know that I have worn it before. I wore it last year. I got it last year. And this is a me dress. It's a maxi. It has puffy balloon sleeves, long sleeves. It has ties at the pulse. Um, I just love it. It's cinched right here, and I'll show you the rest in a minute. Uh, I love a print. This print is so pretty. This one I would call kind of like watercolor. This is when you get in with your brush and like you just brush these colors into existence. This for me, I like remember clearly last year when I wore this dress, I truly saw it in the sky. It was in Tuscany, it was at the seaside, between the lush greenery below and the, you know, the sea extending out to the horizon, and then all the pinks, the yellow, and the golds, and the oranges in the sky, I saw this dress. And I love it. Um, I love unpacking all these pieces for the season. Um, it just really helps me transition and get into the mood. And um, it's re it's really a thing, you know. When I like I mentioned before, when I was thinking about the theme for these pieces that were similar, I was thinking about the sunset. But then when I really thought about it, I was like, I think it would be better, and everyone would understand the theme more if we took it to the classroom and art class and how you would achieve all of these beautiful, beautiful colors. So thank you so much uh, for tuning in. Let me know if you love this concept. Um, and for me, it's so inspiring. I could have gone either way, dress like the sunset or art class. Um, actually, tell me which one you think is more appropriate, but I kind of feel like both of them work, right? So please let me know what you think below. Um, give me a thumbs up, like the video, and um, let me think what else. If there's anything else that you want to see, I know someone asked for some summer vacation looks, and I will get that to you soon. And let me think, let me think. Yeah, that's it. So wishing you a wonderful week. You are amazing, and let's get this May.